everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures, day two of our Disney cruise. Yes, it is Halloween on the high seas today, so we're going to go see what kind of Disney characters we can find in costume around the ship. And tonight, there's <laughs> Mickey's Mouse Parade Party. So we're going to go have fun with Mickey and the gang. Yeah, it's a dance party. Get excited. Meanwhile, Hurricane Pamela is causing the ship to rock a lot. And we're going to check out breakfast at Cabana's, lunch at Triton's, dinner at Tiana's Place, which is the new restaurant here on the Disney Wonder. And also, we'll spend the whole day checking out the pools, the hot tubs, the water slides. Yeah, we're having a lazy day today with lots of food. <laughs> Why don't you come with us on this adventure? So the waves have been really rocky all night long. Kitra hasn't gotten much sleep. So I'm gonna go out to breakfast with Chris. I just realized that I forgot my key in the room and Kitra's sleeping. So I need to somehow get into ba back into the room. In Chris's room, all the doors that we have connecting are locked. So now we're seeing if the state room attendant can maybe help us out. I got the key. Thank you. You're welcome. It's funny, I even forgot my glasses I, until I looked down the hallway and I was like, oh, I can't see down the hallway. <laughs> but now to Cabanas. Morning. Morning. Oh, look at this. They got some Mickey waffles over here. Oh, the Mickey waffles. That's what I came around for right there, that. Hash browns. They're, they're like world famous on Disney Cruise. So every morning on a Disney ship, they usually have one of the restaurants open for a couple hours for breakfast, but they also have cabanas. I usually opt for cabanas because they have more selection, even though the food probably is better in Tiana's this morning. They, they had a whole layout of food. Again, it's more consolidated than it normally is because of the pandemic. They want to have more stations rather than more options. So here's what I got. Of course, I got the Mickey waffles with some maple syrup. I got some eggs. I've got a croissant. You got to get these. This is like a classic on any of the Disney cruises, these hash browns. And then we got some bacon. Maybe, maybe I'll make myself like a breakfast sandwich with this croissant and some eggs and some bacon. As you know, I'm a connoisseur of hash browns. And the, the Disney cruise hash browns are like the industry gold standard. So crunchy. It's a little oily. Five out of five, Peters. Ordinary Adventure Star. They also give you the, like in Mickey waffles. They give you the maple syrup off to the side. I like to dunk it because that way you get like more maple syrup in every bite. So pro tip. And also, Chris led me onto this one because they, the glasses of soda are kind of small, and I like to drink my Coke Zero. He goes up there and gets uh, two at a time. So Chris, pro tip. Go up there and ask for two sodas. We're eating outside today at Cabana's and you can look at the ocean and you can see like the waves are like five to six, maybe seven feet tall, which is what's causing all the rocking. You should have lots of adventures in the beach today. Oh, definitely. Definitely, definitely. Not going in the ocean today, no. Oh. Staying out. It is for a rock yeah. ride. A little yeah, the waves are a little high today. Oh, I know. We're gonna come join you for dinner tonight at your art. restaurant, I yes. Awesome. Awesome. my favorite ever. Yeah. We decided to go down to deck four and see if we can get a closer view at the waves. See what they look like. Oh wow. Wow, <laughs> look at those waves. And the wind down here is not even joking, it's like pushing around my camera. Look at that grip. Huge. These are these are decent swells. <laughs> I'm not even sure if you can tell on camera how big these are. <laughs> yeah. It's always interesting because on these ships there's no downtime. You know, they're always sailing. So you always see the crews around like fixing things because there's always something that needs to be fixed or replaced. Normally on deck four you can 
come out and play shuffleboard with your family or friends, but you actually now have to reserve a time in the Navigator app and then you pick up your sanitized like shuffleboard equipment. So on deck four, it's also the jogging track, which is kind of cool because it takes you into some behind the scenes areas. Like, look at this. Yeah, this is all, these are the anchor chains. Oh, those are the anchor chains. Yeah, so you throw the lines off and they attach it uh, once you're in port and then they drop the anchor and those uh, are the lines that go down to the bottom of the ocean. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm not gonna go overboard. I promise I will not go overboard. <laughs> you gotta get a photo with the iconic Disney Wonder Life. Okay, fine, I'm, I'm gonna get a photo. Are we allowed to pick that up? Yeah. Over in the D Lounge, they're doing an animation class where a cast member is teaching kids and families and adults to draw classic Disney characters. And it's funny because the, the teacher of the class that's drawing right now is the same guy that hosted the game show that we saw last night. So it, it's funny on these Disney ships, you see the same entertainment people in various different roles around the ship throughout your journey. Now. The first thing we're going to make is the doggy's tail. In the French Quarter Lounge, they're doing an origami class. I feel like I'd be really bad at that. <laughs> How are you? How's it going? Oh, wonderful. You don't like pumpkins, right? Oh, I love pumpkins. Oh, you like pumpkins. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. She did. She did. I was worried, though. A little traumatic, so... No, not at all. I okay. love the pumpkin. Okay, it brings me so much joy. So it's Halloween on the high seas, but today is the day they celebrate Halloween here. And they actually have a couple characters out right now. Hey, Dizzy. Are you dressed as a princess? Yeah. Donald, what are you dressed as? Are you a superhero? I mean, you're a superhero every day. <laughs> right? Yeah, he's number one. Hey, Mickey. Is that your Halloween costume this year? Are you a, uh, what are you, a vampire? Yeah. And you're always a witch, right? <laughs> so crazy. They're, just like, <laughs> They're still waving. They're just like, no one's here to say hi to us. It is pretty crazy. So right now we're going to Vibe. They're having an open house. Vibe is like the teen club. I think 14 to 17 years old, but there is not going on right now. So they're having an open house where we, we Disney adults can check it out. <laughs> Vibe is actually in the middle funnel. It's not a functional funnel. That's where in the Wish, the new Disney cruise ship, they're gonna actually have a suite. But in here, you can play arcade games. It's just like a chill hangout spot. They have some video games on the TV, like a huge TV with a couch. They have Guitar Hero. And I guess they do like all sorts of games and stuff throughout the day. They even have like a coffee machine. We're just overlooking the quiet cove pool. That's like the adult area. And the water is just, waves are happening in the quiet cove pool and it's not supposed to be happening. That's how much this ship is rocking. I still haven't heard from Kitra and it is 11.30. So maybe, maybe I should go down to the room and see if she's okay. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm not feeling the greatest. So last night I didn't sleep very well because it literally felt like the ship was like rolling around in circles. It was so crazy. I've never felt anything like that before. It felt like the Gravitron, like at amusement park. Yeah, it felt like the Gravitron. So it was not fun. But um, I'm up now and I want to leave the room because <laughs> maybe I'll feel better if I leave the room. So the captain came on and gave us a weather update for the day. Apologize for the rough weather last night. He says because of the high pressure that passed over us last night, we were actually in seas that were 12 to 15 feet high. Wow, that's twice as high as you thought. That's twice as high as I thought. And we're looking at it from out here um, and it's gotten a lot better throughout this day and it should get a lot better throughout the rest of the cruise. It's gonna settle down. But last night was definitely a wild ride and yeah. probably the biggest seas I've ever experienced on a cruise ship. Yeah, you've been on five cruises. I've been on four or five and I, I've never felt anything like this, so I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> driving into like the path of a hurricane and they're like so my mind was just the yeah, whole time like, like oh my gosh and, and it wasn't like, even the hurricane it was literally the high pressure system yeah that was just blowing over us there. yeah it was crazy but now we're okay we're like too scared to get out of the bed yeah so now we're in the green area which is like better <laughs> great red is bad yellow and then green so yeah. Green is good. Green is always good. Green is good. Yay. <laughs> We're going to make our way to, over to Triton's for lunch, which is one of the sit-down restaurants that also serves lunch. Yeah. We're actually not eating there for dinner at this trip because we're going to do Paulo, so this is going to yeah. be our only time. We're not going to eat there for dinner, so we'll go check it out for lunch. What are you going to be dressing up as for Halloween? Oh, I'm not sure what kind of celebration that is. This is just an outfit I wear for my village. <laughs> <laughs> You could just like color it like orange and black and it'd be good to go. Oh, okay. Yeah. What do you recommend for people who get seasick on the ocean? I know like you're like one with the water and stuff and I'm feeling a little like these waves are like, do you have any recommendations? Oh, well, I recommend taking nice deep breaths and just being calm and relaxed with the ocean. <laughs> just be one with the water, Yeah. Right? Yeah, okay. That's what I thought, but I thought I'd ask you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the best awesome. Advice. That really is the best advice. Just don't, don't freak out like a hey hey. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. So on Disney Cruises, the restaurant that's like right next to the atrium on Midship, it's usually the most boring of the bunch. On the Fantasy, it was Royal Court. Here, it is Triton, which is loosely themed after Little Mermaid. It has some nice little touches, like there's this mosaic on the wall. There's like a piano in the middle. You even get these, like the way they do their napkins is quite nice. It's very elegant. I actually like this probably more than like Royal Court. I agree. My initial impressions when I first walked in was I like, okay, this isn't that bad. It's got some color to it, but it is the most boring. Kitra got some ginger ale. Yes, I got some ginger ale which is complimentary. All of the like sodas and stuff are complimentary, so. Yeah, so hopefully the ginger ale will help yeah. with the, the motion of the ocean. Keep them coming. Not only did I get endless supplies of ginger <laughs> ale during this lunch, your girl needed it after the night that she had last night. I also ordered the fried calamari, which is cooked to perfection, nice and crunchy. Honestly, some of the better calamari that I've had on a cruise ship this far. I also got the chicken fettuccine pasta, which was another thing that just hit the spot. I needed those extra carbs. And for dessert, I got the hazelnut chocolate cake, which honestly was just okay. I would probably avoid that one if I was you. But in general, Triton's was a nice upgrade from Cabana's, and I highly recommend checking it out for lunch. So I already had breakfast, so I decided to get some dessert for lunch. And I got the fresh strawberry Malay Falu, and this has layers of puff pastry crust, vanilla pastry cream, and fresh strawberries. And I think it's exactly the light kind of <laughs> sugary thing that I wanted. Yeah. Look at this. It's so fancy. How do you? Ooh. Oh. Oh. It's... Whoa. Oh. Oh my God. That looks so. Oh, look good. at that. Yeah. How? It's so flaky. That's great. What I wanted. This is like just perfect for it. I'd be like a five out of five Peters. Wow. Yeah. It's only a little of the strawberry, and you got that crunch. But it's just like a, a very light. I mean, if you're looking for a decadent dessert, I'd say it's probably not best, but I'd give us, yeah, five out of five Peters. The atrium has all sorts of like hidden details. So on this staircase, you can actually see the characters all the way up there. A little more obvious all around the different decks, there are characters in like bronze, but it's so like elegantly done. They are playing the Halloween song from the Disneyland Parade. The Frightfully Fun Parade. Did you forget what it was called? No. Yeah, they're playing it, but it's like a different kind of slowed down version. I like it. Yeah. I do wish there was like more like Halloween stuff going on today. It's not quite like the Marvel Day at Sea or Star Wars Day at Sea. They just kind of have like some nighttime stuff and then the character greeting. But right now, you can't see by the blinding sun. We're going to the pool. Oh, look at the water in the pool. <laughs> Unlike Royal Caribbean here on the Disney cruise, towels are free. You can take as many as you want. And they have them in these little hidden away cabinets, which is piles and piles worth of towels. 
Let me take one. Yes. Okay. So uh, we're about to go in the wave pool. I was I didn't realize that it was a wave pool, but apparently it's a wave pool today because of how crazy the ship is doing. <laughs> I'm actually kind of excited to go in there, even though I didn't want to get my hair or my face wet. That might just might not happen. <laughs> it's nice in there. It's so it's like a hot tub. Yeah, and it's so good. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, did you see it? Was it like this this morning or was yeah, it worse? Yeah, it was worse. It does feel good. Oh, yes. Oh! <laughs> Is it rocking you around? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna let the waves take me. Bye. <laughs> It's good, huh? It's actually quite warm in here. Is it heated? It must be heated. I peed, that's why. <laughs> just kidding. It's gross. <laughs> gross. It is warm because, like I was saying earlier, it's not as hot as like if you were taking a cruise from Florida. Like we're on the west coast, it's a little chilly. Even though, you know, we're, we left from San Diego and we're going to Mexico, it's not exactly warm. There's a little bit of a cold front, a little bit of a storm a brewing, but it feels good in here. I like it. But look at this. Look at how crazy the water is today. <laughs> Whoa, it's like, it's like a theme park ride here. Oh, so cheap. Oh. I don't think they can even I'm having so much fun on my cruise vacation. <laughs> This is like the wave pool at Typhoon Lagoon. This is, this is awesome. Yeah, it is. This is great. Cool. It's a Disney cruise, honey. Yeah. It's a Disney cruise. I know, but I was fully like looking forward to not getting <laughs> I can't even away. stay like in the center. Yeah. I oh. just keep on. I wish you guys could see oh. behind the camera. Right, let, me, let me turn on this view. Yeah, so this is, it's actually, I'm surprised. Yeah, that this tripod's doing really well. Yeah. <laughs> Cut to like five minutes later and it's like. <laughs> this is crazy. This is really, like, I'm not moving right now. <laughs> this is awesome. This, this, this is the best. Oh my god, I like getting floated away. I can't even, like... Come back. I feel like I would spill it in here. <laughs> but I see some other girls as a beer. <laughs> Whoa. This is nuts. This is crazy. This is actually so much fun. If, if anyone ever is experiencing motion sickness, don't just stay in your cabin, get out and come up here because I feel a lot better for some reason in this crazy pool. <laughs> Whoa! Is that why they designed it like this, do you think? Yeah. Like, like with the layers? Yeah. I never realized that. It's for spillage. Wow. Yeah, look at the water behind you, though. Yeah. Look at how I, crazy that is. I never, I never knew that. So a lot of the pools on the Royal ship were like that, too. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> this is crazy. thankful that it's warm. <laughs> Look at that, it's like... Yeah. Oh my god! This is oh. amazing! We have our very own Disney wave pool. It's like we're at Typhoon Lagoon or Blizzard Beach. That's what I said! This is amazing. This is so fun. We just need an interchange. I know. I know. Bob up and down. This is nice. <laughs> so my favorite thing to do is you put your back up against this right here. And then you wait where the, the waves just come splashing over you. <laughs> like that. Oh! It's awesome. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome.
our move on the hot tub. See some people getting out. God, uh, yes. Yes? Oh, yes. No. It is oh, so it's so warm in here. Because of social distancing, they only want one party in here at a time. And they give you a 15 minute timer, which is actually kind of good because when you press the whirlpool button, it lasts 15 minutes. I mean, that, that's all you really need in a hot tub anyways. So after the 15 minutes, we get out. Someone else gets in. But for 13 more minutes, we're gonna be in here. So the bartender came over and was like, do you guys want any drinks? I was like, yes. And I ordered the drink of the day. This is the spooky juice. It is, we are celebrating Halloween on the high seas today. So this looks almost like it has like two eyeballs on top. Yeah, it has looks like that good. Like red blood on the bottom. Okay, let's try it out. Ooh. definitely tastes like the the rum and the curacao basically that, that that's like the overpowering taste there it's a little like sweet and sour yeah but these are really creepy i give this like a four to five beer this is a solid drink <laughs> what'd you give it four out of five five out of five i forget four to five four to five Although this experience, experiencing in this way, maybe a five out of five. <laughs> Look at the Peter fish. The <laughs> Peter fish has migrated all the way to the wonder of the seas. <laughs> It's harder than normal because like the waves are pushing against you, so you're, it's like you're swimming upstream. Woo! Marina. Woo! Why is it so cold out here? Because we're not in the Bahamas, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to show your hands? Oh, yeah. So this is what it looks like to be in the, the adults' quiet co pool for like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to get out. It's much colder out here. But you know what? I think you have to do the water slide. No, it's your, your turn to do the water slide. Or maybe we'll make Chris do the water slide. Peter should do the water yeah, slide. Yeah, two against one, sorry. You're not yes. gonna do it? It's a democratic vote. Oh, I'm definitely going, but you have to go too. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll see. You heard it. back up there you only wait like five ten minutes i mean on this cruise it's like five minute wait i give it like a a three out of five kids <laughs> so you're gonna go in and out no of course it's finally time to eat the ice cream get it the disney ice cream it is the best is it as good as i remember 
Yes. Better than Royal Caribbean. That's a fact. <laughs> Except they didn't have my, my banana flavor. That's the flavor that I love the most. And they had chocolate and strawberry. It's okay. I'm going to let it slide. Five maybe, out of five maybe tomorrow. Five out of five Kitras. <laughs> I'm not craving ice cream like Ketra, so I might get a slice of Pinocchio's Pizzeria. I mean, I might get a slice of the... Wait, so when, when Pinocchio tells a lie, does the pizza get bigger? In the pool area, they have a bunch of like, kind of grab and go snack areas, as well as the ice cream. From Pete's Boiler Bites, I actually got a beef and lamb shawarma, and it comes with a bunch of toppings to choose from. I got like lettuce, hummus, tzatziki, tomatoes, onions, probably some other stuff I'm forgetting, but it looks pretty good. It's on like a little tortilla instead of like a pita, which is kind of funny. This is actually surprisingly tasty just for like kind of a fast grab and go sort of situation. I'm honestly shocked. Like it tastes like real shawarma. Is it as good as the shawarma from Avengers Campus? No, but it's still really good. And it probably gets like a four out of five kitras. I like it. They also had chicken too, so. Chicken or beef? Unfortunately, there was no like falafel for a vegetarian, so I'm sorry. I went over to Pete's Boiler Bites. Why does Pete have a Boiler Bites? Why is, is he such a popular character that they gave him a restaurant in Disney Cruise? Yep. 90s Disney makes no sense whatsoever. But I got a, a special of the day, which is a spicy chicken sandwich. It's not there every day. It has like some kind of spicy mayo sauce on the top there. And then it's like, uh, just a kind of sad, fried chicken breads <laughs> but and I asked it what I came with uh, french fries and some honey mustard let's try this out wow that sauce has a little bit of a kick for Disney the chicken breast tastes kind of like chicken tenders so if you like the chicken tenders from so Disney it's Kurt, good it's very good <laughs> yeah. yes very good but that sauce I would be weary to give that to like cute little kids because it's it's kind of spicy I need to get some soda to wash it down. Oh, look, it's a special cup for Halloween. Your finger's covering it. Oh, <laughs> oh look, it's a special cup for Halloween on the high seas. <laughs> One of the only Halloween things we've seen today. <laughs> Spooky. Yeah, I'd give us like a three and a half out of five. It's, it's grab and go, but it's very good. So the waves out there are a lot calmer now does not look bad at all. How are you feeling? I'm feeling a lot better. I'm just tired because I didn't sleep, but, <laughs> but I'm, I don't feel sick anymore, so that's good. Oh my God. Kitra like just broke her mask. You two are her favorites. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> Wait, the, you're the cop, but he's the wrong, you gotta go arrest him. <laughs> you need a whistle. <laughs> I love all these Halloween outfits. These are all great. You guys are the best. What, what was he caught stealing? Was it nuts? Yeah. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I ran over here to see you guys. <laughs> We're out of breath. Yes. Um. Yes. <laughs> Both of them. It's the best day of my life. Is that a butt check? <gasps> yes, that is. That's a double butt check. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Maybe they're going down. Oh no. Going in to get trouble. <laughs> going to find some trouble. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm just happy we got to see them. I've been waiting all day. <laughs> Greatest ever. Yes! Don't you think it'll work? Yes! Yes! What do you see over there? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> 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 Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
For the record, Kendra didn't want to even see the character. <laughs> Kitra just said that this is the best day of her life. What's up, kids? There's nobody here. How are you doing? Hello. Where's your Halloween costume? Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's, got, right. yeah, he's got the lay on. So this really is amazing because there's a nobody here. It's like us and the characters, and that's it. This is awesome. It is really like having your own private Disneyland of meet and greets because there's really not that many people on the ship and there's just so many characters and they're all like unique characters that you never see. Tonight they're celebrating Halloween so there's a lot of costumes. We did not bring any costumes on the ship but it looks like a lot of people are dressing in costumes. No, we didn't bring costumes, but we got to see Chippendale in their costumes, so I say that's even better. <laughs> <laughs> Normally on a Halloween Disney cruise, the kids and guests get to go trick-or-treating for Halloween candy. Uh, that's not possible right now, but they do bring you some Halloween candy in a little Halloween candy bag. So we each got one of these. So here's a look at some of the candy that was included. So a lot of Snickers, some Starburst, some Skittles, some M&Ms. Just like a little selection of candy. Not quite as much as one of the trick or treat trails at Oogie Boogie Bash, but I'll take it. <laughs> Hiding ducks around cruise ships is like a thing. I never realized that until we started watching a bunch of cruise vloggers. Yeah, we found one. Yeah. It says, you have found a duck, a cruising duck. Take a picture and post it on Cruising Duck's Facebook page. You can keep it or hide it, but not in the stores. Oh, it's from the Valentino family. I'm gonna take a picture and then post it in the Facebook group. <laughs> I'm keeping it. Or maybe I'll hide it. Maybe I'll keep it. I don't know yet. You'll have to find out. That's so fun. Tonight we're eating dinner in Tiana's place. So we decided to come to the New Orleans Lounge before dinner, grab ourselves some, some free dinner drinks. And it's awesome because they have a piano player playing the music of the Sherman Brothers. So I ended up getting myself a drink. I got an old New Orleans fashion. What makes this different from a new, I mean an old fashion? I don't know. But it was, I will say it's $12. So it's a little bit more expensive than other drinks on board, board the ship. That drink I had earlier today, that was a special drink the other day, was like five bucks or something insane. Yeah. So, okay, let's look at the presentation with the orange peel. So that's why. There's a lot of alcohol in there. That's why it's more expensive. It's definitely an old fashioned in taste, but you can definitely taste the, like, that fruit, like the orange, like the bitters and stuff like that. It's like a four to five Peters. Is it worth the $12? It's very strong. So, yes, it's worth the $12. <laughs> Coasters here are like themed like playing cards. So they're like playing cards. Here's the Joker, here's the King, and I like that it's. Oh, that's cool. So I'm guessing the queen is Tiana. I'm hoping I can find it. But so far, my collection is only these two cards. <laughs> well, maybe I need to order a drink. Order a drink so I can get my third my third coaster playing card. It's kind of like Pixar um, Play Point Lounge, where you got to collect all the, or Ogas, you got to collect all the coasters. <laughs> I just got to get 52 drinks, and then I'll have myself a deck of cards. So I just ordered a drink. Do you think I got your card? I haven't looked. No. Dang. Sorry. We'll 
just have to order another drink. That's true. I ordered the hurricane. What is in a hurricane? I don't remember because it didn't say on the menu. But I know that that is like a classic New Orleans style of drink. And I think it's got lots of rum in it, if I had to guess. I could be wrong. <laughs> Actually, I really don't know. Play poker. I know. <laughs> <laughs> They're beautiful. They're really nice. Yeah. We didn't even have to order 52 drinks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try it. I think this was eight dollars. So that is kind of like a little bit more than like the drinks at the outside pool bar. But it's huge, it's tasty, it tastes like pineapple, like a tropical drink. It's very, very good. Four out of five kitchens. I like it. Finally, this evening, we're going to Tiana's place. Highly anticipated this restaurant. We've heard it's amazing. Yeah, neither of us have been here. Yes, we've never been here, and we heard it's good. We just walked in. The ambiance is beautiful. We got an amazing table. We're really seated like right next to the stage. We even have Mardi Gras beads. <laughs> hey, you, Time to you can have mine. You're not going to wear yours? They're for you. Okay, wow, what a gentleman. Thank you so much. Okay, so they give you Mardi Gras beads. That's fun. And the bread is on like a lily pad, it looks like almost. And they said it was like a brioche bread with a French onion dip. So let's see how it tastes. I guess like that. <laughs> Wow, very oniony. This bread is nice and soft. This is probably the best buns we've had so far on the cruise. But earlier today you saw Chip and Dale's buns. Okay, these are the second best buns that we've seen on the cruise. <laughs> First go to Chip and Dale, then go to this. Welcome to my, I like to call my dream country, Tiana's Place. Do y'all like what I've done with the old sugar milk? Yes! You know, my daddy always said, with a lot of hard work, and determination, and a dream you believe in, you can do anything you set your mind to. And let me tell you something, he was right about that. Some sweet music to start all the cool. I don't know about you. But I'm ready to get this place swinging with some knowledge now, so please welcome to the stage all musical games.
appetizer, I got the boudin sausage fritters. This is minced pork and boudin sausage, breaded and fried, served on bourbon aioli. So you can see in there, there's like, what was that, rice and sausage. It's really good. It has a nice blend of spices. It reminds me of New Orleans. By the way, now they're playing Bare Necessities from Jungle Book. I love this. This I'd give like a four to five Peter. Wow, really? You didn't yeah. even want it because you don't like sausage. I'm not a big sausage person, but I am a fritter person. <laughs> okay. Very good. And we also did get Prince Naveen's charcuterie board. I don't think I'm going to review everything on here, but look at this. It's beautiful. It's a very nice display of meats. And there's even like an egg. fennel salad and remoulade. It doesn't really look how I envisioned. I thought Cajun spice it was gonna be like almost blackened, but it's just like a really nice delicate fish. So let's see. Oh my god, look at that. I don't even Wow, that's tender. That is a I know things Yeah I, I know something about tender. <laughs> you do. You're some would say that you're a connoisseur of saying it that things are tender. That, that is tender fruit. Tender approved? Okay, great. Good to know. <laughs> Let me tell you, this is tender. It's not spicy. Like, it has like that Cajun spice, but it's not spicy. The look of it to me, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like that, but it's just, sometimes you gotta just try it and not be scared of what it looks like, because it will be tender and it will be delicious. <laughs> this probably gets like a four out of five kitchens. This is really good. This was something that our server recommended and I finally took his recommendation on something and it was good. <laughs> Always listen to your server. For my entree, I got Big Daddy's roasted prime <laughs> rib of beef. What's so funny? Big Daddy's. That's okay. what it's called. Okay, yes. And this has double baked potato, broccolini, sweet roasted carrots, and comes with a red wine veal sauce. This looks like a, something Walt would have loved. We, we often go to the Tam O'Shanter in the valley, and that's one of Walt's favorite restaurants. And they, they, they famously serve prime rib, so. This is Walt approved. Where should I, there's a lot of fat over here. I feel like, let's not go for the fat right away. My advice is find a piece that's nice and tender. You stole my review. <laughs> what was that? What was that, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> For dessert, we had to get Tiana's buttermilk beignets with powdered sugar and a chocolate espresso dipping sauce. Oh, they're nice and warm. They're not bad, but I thought this is Tiana's place, and I thought they would be like amazing. They probably only get like two and a half out of five.
enjoyed Tiana's place. I actually liked the beignets more than Kitra. They were, nice they were and, fine. They were nice and fluffy. I Three like it with the powdered five. sugar more than I like <laughs> it with uh, the addition of chocolate. I think that's a little too much. But I would give them like a four out of five feeders. <laughs> They're not as good as the ones at Jazz Kitchen. They might be as good as like the Mickey beignets. So, there you go. for kids it's a family dance party so it's not for me but for me I like like Pirates Night they have like the fireworks there's Mickey's like zip lines across it, it lacks the spectacle but I like seeing the characters in their costumes dancing so I loved it <laughs> I would watch that all night every night <laughs> 
Not another towel animal. What is it, Peter? You tell me. Uh, it looks like me, to be honest. Doesn't it kind of look like me? <laughs> oh no. Me when I'm just chilling. <laughs> Whatever it is, I love it. And most importantly, we got our Dove chocolates again. Which I'm gonna add to my trick or treat bag. <laughs> <laughs> That does it for the Halloween night on this Disney cruise. If you want to not miss more of our future videos, please hit subscribe below. If you want to see more <laughs> from this particular trip, we'll put the videos right over there. I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Kent, Dale Baker, Cynthia Santos, and Kendall Homesteader Gellner. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.